before the break, we met Tennille, the young woman from Grand Prairie who created the Play It Forward tour. Well, when I was in Vermilion to meet her, I also got to meet the rest of her crew who are just as passionate about this incredible idea as she is. It takes so many people to just put all their passion and love and heart into this to make this whole tour a reality. And last year, we were sitting you know, at the dinner table with my parents and it kind of came out of a meltdown in deciding, you know, what are you going to do, post-secondary education, how are you going to really dive into this whole music scene, and, and this is just some, something that just came out. Daniil came to me uh, quite a long time ago and said, I want to go speak about leadership and passion in schools, and we sat down over some coffees and created the concept for the, the tour, so from that. The tour is currently making its way around Alberta, stopping in at schools to spread powerful and positive messages. I just love the message of playing it forward and just igniting that spark within you that to do what you love to do and to just help people and to step up and just follow your dreams and do what inspires you to make the world a better place. Um, well, we go in and the three musicians obviously um, tell um, stories and uh, spread positive messages through music. Um, the, main, the main reason why we're here is to um, acknowledge kids that maybe wouldn't have been acknowledged. Schools are some of my favorite audiences to perform to. They're so, you know, responsive and they just listen so well and I think they're easily inspired and I just love to be a part of their day. It's really a blast to be able to share music with them and this whole concept just is so much of my passion and so much of what I believe in and, you know, incorporating, there was a lot of people that were a part of bringing this together and uh, building this foundation and bringing that initial vision to life and it's, it's so cool being out here and uh, seeing it as a reality it's amazing so this tour started out as a vision and being out here across Alberta to start with has been an absolute blast honestly I feel like it's affecting us maybe yeah. even more than the kids because we get to hear these wonderful stories every day two at each or three at each school right and some teachers it's just incredible what they'll write about these kids we're we're tearing up to yeah. the side like and same with Suzanne like three times a day you know to the side but um, I guess I think it's good for kids to see someone like Tennille, you know, who is up in the spotlight and she's she's obviously beautiful and she could treat people however she wanted and she chooses to treat them well and like they matter and she really has a passion to, to make sure that the kids who are maybe a little marginalized or in the shadows get to come forward and have their moment in front of their school for standing up for things that are, that are just goodness, they're just representing living well and acts of kindness and, you know, they're not always the athlete, which is wonderful too, but those kids get recognition and these, these types don't always. So I think that's what's most important, getting the kids that don't always have that moment to have a moment. Every day we get to hear stories about youth in our province that make their environments and make this world a better place just through their actions and just being who they are and that is so inspiring to me. There's so many stories I can think of that have just really reminded me how you know incredible it is to see this in real life. One um, girl, I think it was in Grand Cash, she, it was, she was in grade five and they'd all gone to the swimming pool. And there was one kid that couldn't swim very well, so he had to put a life jacket on. And all the kids started making fun of him because he couldn't swim. And so she just went over, grabbed a life jacket, and went and like spent the whole time swimming with him and like you know standing out and showing the kids that it like not to make fun, but to come alongside mm -hmm. and help this kid who everybody was just outcasting. And so we've here heard tons of stories just like that, and it's just amazing, incredible to see these students and see them recognized for little acts that are huge. We're looking forward to taking this uh, hopefully across Canada starting in March so that's the big vision I guess of the entire tour and, and just always staying true to those important values you know we want to inspire youth to do what they do best which is play and then go out and play it forward with whatever it is that they love and that they're passionate about and be that strong leader that they are and you know every single kid in that room has the potential to ignite that spark with what they love and to follow their dreams and you know create dreams draw pictures of them set goals and just feel that passion and, and feel what it feels like to be able to make a difference for other people with that.
and the girls are playing it forward in their own special ways, both on and off the stage. Well, she would never tell you this, but she is the best at just these little moments. Um, Save on Foods is our sponsor, and so we go up, we park and save on food lots, and then they uh, feed us. So basically, sing for our supper, and. <laughs> One day we're in line and we have these gift cards that they give us for our groceries and we've had quite an excess, like there's a lot left over and so we're in line and I'm thinking about, ooh, what can we buy that costs so much that I could never <laughs> afford usually, you know? And Bethany here, she's like, maybe we should, let's buy this lady's groceries in front of us. And I was like, that's a great idea. <laughs> so we, we just sneakily like took it and she went to pay and, and the lady starts she tears up and what she's from some other country and oh 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 my word like she was just she couldn't believe it and she like gives us a kiss and she's like I pray for you like <laughs> she was lovely she was, oh, that was a pretty cool moment thanks to Bethany it's so hard to put that into words that is it's a feeling it's like in that moment you're standing there and just experiencing Oh, it's overwhelming, to be honest. I absolutely love that. I'm so grateful for the incredible team. All of these ladies have so much passion and so much spark for bringing this Play It Forward tour and concept to life and sharing it with other people. And just to be surrounded by people who believe in it and are passionate about it is so fueling and incredible. And, you know, looking out into all of those kids just watching, and you can just see that their hearts are right there. and. That's just the moment, it gives me goosebumps every day. I just absolutely love being there with them and sharing that message. You know, my passion is music, but more than that, my passion is being able to reach out to people through music. So to be able to have that passion come true, and it's, it's like a dream every day, I just absolutely love it and I'm so grateful for it. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I've, I've played for a few different artists in all over Canada, and I have to say that this, is, this has definitely been the most encouraging and meaningful uh, yeah I'd have to say I mean it, it may not be a stage of a hundred thousand people or whatever but it's it's pretty cool to see these kids and the teachers faces lighting up I mean I I can't say of any tour I've been on that I've teared up three times a day <laughs> like that but that just happens naturally it's incredible to me to get to be able to do music and to go with this message it's just everything all in one it's perfect they really are just an incredible group of young ladies doing incredible, incredible things. And you're going to want to stay with us because coming up next, we'll see just how their music and words impacted the students at Vermilion Elementary School.